you are, Ethan. Oh, hey, sweetheart. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but could I steal you away from your mother for a bit? Of course, dear. Steal him away for as long as you like. Oh, I wish I could, but I'm off to a charity lunch, and I was just hoping to have a few minutes with Ethan before I left. Oh, I totally understand. Of course, go off. Have a, have a good time. Enjoy yourselves. I'll see you later. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to try to open it after Gwen leaves. I would rather it stay here. I'll promise I'll give it back to you after I open it. You know, I'm beginning to think there's something you're trying to hide. <laughs> Nonsense. It's just I am very, very fond of it. I can't believe it. I don't know what to say. Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. I... Me too. I'm sorry, I was trying to be more careful. What? I broke the chain. This isn't the original chain that came with the locket, is it? No. Oh. No, it's not. I'm glad for that, at least. The locket seems all right. I'm sorry, Mother. It's, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, why don't you just go enjoy some time with Gwen before she has to leave? Oh, I'm starving. You mind if we go down to the kitchen and grab a bite to eat? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Sam Bennett could still be downstairs. Oh, why waste your precious time with Gwen in the kitchen, surrounded by the staff? Why don't you just take her to your room and call Cook and have them send something up? Um, you can use the privacy to discuss setting a date for that certain occasion. What occasion could you mean, Mother? Oh, take him away, Gwen. <laughs> oh, Ethan, you might ask Gwen how she feels about Washington. Washington? <laughs> so where were you this morning? I went to go see Sheridan in her cottage. Talking to her always helps me feel better when I'm a little, you know. You were still upset about my dancing with Teresa last night. I was, but I'm okay now. I hope so. I mean, what do I have to do to convince you that nobody, including Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, is a threat to our relationship? That I love you, Gwen? Prove it. How? I consider myself a pretty liberated woman, Ethan, but I'm old-fashioned when it comes to one thing. Marriage proposals. Gwen. No. Ethan, you proposed to me once before, and I was foolish enough to say no. But I doubted your reasons at the time. And well, what about now? Now I'm ready for you to ask me again. I mean, maybe I'm taking all the suspense out of it, but I need you to understand that the next time you do propose to me, I don't plan on turning you down. Why are you smiling? Oh, you're up to something, Ethan Crane. What is it? smiling because you're so incredibly sweet and earnest about this marriage proposal business. Well, it's just something I've done a little thinking about. If you haven't, Of course I... I've been thinking about it, Gwen. I'm gonna propose to you. The question you should be asking is when, and only I know the answer to that. Oh, tell me. <laughs> what, and, and ruin the surprise? No way. Besides, it gives me something to hold over your head. You're enjoying torturing me, aren't you? Well, I prefer to think of it as heightening the anticipation. It could happen at any time. Just waiting for one more item. What? A ring? See? I've already said too much. Not another word. You're torturing me and you love it. Now, think of it this way. You know Christmas is coming every year. But what would it be like if you didn't know the exact day it fell on? Not only would you get a ton of gifts, but you would also get the thrill of being surprised. You're crazy, you know that. <laughs> well, I had to cut this short, but I'm being summoned by the old man. That's okay, I have to leave anyway. Well, I'll walk you down. Don't bother, I can see myself out. You feel better? Much. That's good, because our day is coming soon. And nothing's going to stop us from having a wonderful life together. <laughs>